So here we see the current implementation of the Caveman Diorama in this 1950s television set. Uh, it's all controlled by multiple Arduinos. We've got the campfire there flickering away. Uh, we've got uh, the pool, the light in the pool flickering. You can just see the dragon hiding at the back of the pool. Uh, we've got a fish hanging on the right drying. And then we have a few modern artifacts like the chainsaw and the little gas can there. Um, and then we have the time portal which explains everything. Uh, some floodlights that are lighting up the wall where the cave painting will go. Uh, a tunnel, there's going to be a waterfall coming down there into the pool. And we can control all the lighting effects. So that tunnel, instead of being a dull red glow, could be a flickering art welder effect. And if we look up at the ceiling, we've got uh, lots of LEDs in there, tricolored near pixels. And we can make all of those flicker under Arduino control. Uh, to reflect what's happening down in the fire. Um, so all in all, I'm incredibly pleased with the way everything's coming out so far, to be honest with you. Uh, oh, and the time portal, that's going to be replaced by a stone-looking time portal. And there'll be a little screen there flicking different images from the future. So, and then round the campfire there's going to be some figures of cavemen. And one of them will be wearing a Hawaiian shirt. And of course that will be me and I will have arrived through the time portal. And there will be some packing cases, little wooden packing cases full of emergency supplies uh, like bottles of wine and also cans of Spam I think. Uh, what else would you take if you were travelling back through time?